Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's talk about the zodiac. What is the zodiac? Well, a lot of people know about astrology, and most people know what their sign is. They know that they're either a Taurus or a Gemini or, or um, a Cancer or something like that. Uh, but what does it mean, and why do we use that? Well, it turns out that the constellations that make up the zodiac, and yes, there are 13 of them. There should only be 12, really, but there's 13 of them. Because every one of them relates to about a period of a month during the year. And we'll show in just a moment how that relates to the year. But notice the dates associated with the various zodiac constellations. And it has to do with the position of the Earth and the Sun and the constellation. It turns out when the constellation is directly behind the Sun, so when it's completely blocked by the Sun, that's the date associated that we have over here. For example, if we come over here and we look at, um, uh, let's see here, I'm Taurus. Yeah, Taurus would be a good, good one, the bull. Notice that on May 21st, roughly speaking, the bull will be right behind the sun and will not be able to be seen, which means that a month earlier, it will be far to the west in the sky when the sun sets about a couple hours later than Taurus will set. And if we go one month earlier, we go to Eris, the ram. You can see that uh, April 21st, that means on April 21st, when the Earth is over here, Eris will be directly behind the sun that way and so forth. So as the Earth goes around the sun, the constellation of the zodiac will be directly behind the sun and not be visible at that time of the year. Um, Taurus, right here, the bull, notice that May 21st, that's when Taurus will be right behind the bull. In astrology, the time period, uh, when you are a Taurus, it starts on April 21st and ends May 21st. That's the month of the Taurus. So even though the date is associated with the end of the period, it's the month prior to that, roughly speaking. And so here you are. Now, these constellations tend to be fairly close to the ecliptic. They're easily visible in the night sky, they're, so they're not too far north, they're not too far south. And so as the Earth makes its trip around the sun every year, those constellations are very easily visible during the night sky. Uh, in the night sky, of course, not at the dates indicated here, because don't look for them there. A good time to see them in the evening probably would be uh, about three or four months prior uh, to that or maybe five or six months prior to that. So a good time, for example, to see Taurus, maybe around Christmas, January, February, and after that, it becomes more and more difficult to see Taurus as it begins to disappear in the night sky uh, over the horizon and so forth. So when you want to, let's say you want to find Leo, a good to, to, sign, to see Leo would be maybe four or five months prior to August, so go about here. April would be a really good time to see Leo. You come out at night and Leo would be right there. So it's a misnomer, a misconception to think that those are the days that you can go look for the constellations of the zodiac. You will not see them because they're hiding behind the sun at that time. So that's the list and have fun trying to find them in the night sky. Now at least you know when to go look for them.